Well, ladies and gentlemen, an official weekend has passed where the Dragon Age, the Veilguard game, has been playable for everyone. And yet, I was waiting for the game to hit 100,000 concurrent players, and that never happened. We are now starting to see a lot more clips showcasing the game's terrible dialogue exchanges between characters, and that we will be getting to. But currently, the game only peaked at 89,000 players, and still, to me, that is a lot of people playing this game, which I was surprised. But on the other hand, Dragon Age is such a big IP, a big franchise, that a lot of people know about it and actually love the original games. So this still seems to me to be quite low i would have expected the game to hit a hundred thousand plus players and i would have actually congratulated it but that never happened and if you go over to the home page on steam for this game the game is also receiving a lot of positive reviews and if you do go over to the reviews there's a lot of recommendations talking about how it's a decent or average action rpg they like the story and so on and so forth but what i do want to point out is that when you go to how many people found these reviews helpful you can see that the top recommended review has 1236 people finding it helpful whereas if you scroll down to the not recommended section for the most helpful section this review right here has 2288 people found it helpful so that is something that i do want to point out but will this game be able to make its money back more than likely not if star wars outlaws which a lot of people know about the brand and actually know about the games that are being produced and yet even the game star wars outlaws was only able to sell about a million copies in its first month at the beginning of october and so if you fast forward to the day let's say they sold about another 500,000 copies they sold about 1.5 million units and that game is still yet far away from making any profit when it comes to ubisoft and the same thing could be said about this game if their budget is over hundreds of millions of dollars i don't think they're going to be able to break that profit which brings us to the clips that showcase how cringe the dialogue is when it comes to characters exchanging words and when you're playing these fantasy games a lot of people want to escape the real world not be brought back into it well, it seems as if Dragon Age the Veil Guard decide to completely ignore that rule and actually implement a lot of real world dilemmas as we get into the clip. Here, vegetables. Thank you. So, I'm non binary. <laughs> what does that mean? And let me tell you, if it weren't for those funny sound effects, noises being implemented in this video, the actual real clip from in-game footage it is absolutely awkward silence. So you as the main character meeting Tosh for the first time, this is what you are seeing when it comes to this exchange. It's absolutely ridiculous when you're playing in this fantasy world this whole entire realm where dragon age games are known for making blood sacrifices to gods and such and worrying about evil spreading uh good becoming weak with the evil taking over and so on and so forth and yet you have tosh here being more concerned about how she is labeled as her gender sexuality it's absolutely insane to me as we continue on that means i don't feel like a man or a woman <laughs> If you are neither a man nor a woman, then what are you? Non-binary. I just said, and I'm going to use they instead of she from now on. It's <laughs> because I have criticized your dress or your manners. It isn't. <laughs> and right here you have the traditional parent being concerned about the mentally ill child. I'm telling you, I don't know if there's like mental institutions within the Dragon Age games. Because I know in reality a lot of these mental institutions have been closing down and ever since that has happened we've been starting to get a lot more mental illness in the public across the board and so that is what i'm thinking is going through her parents head that her child is pretty damn mentally ill and you can even see the agitation when it comes to taj talking about how she wants to be labeled it is absolutely ridiculous as we continue on under the queen, the term for one whose gender does not match the one given to them at birth was a cunithlock. Perhaps you are like that. Why do you have to keep picking at it? Why can't you just be happy for me? Evitosh, chakra toebra. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I don't 
don't feel like I fit, even if I feel wrong? No, you misunderstood. <laughs> so here you go. They have an in-game term for how Tosh is feeling when it comes to her gender identity. And even Tosh is still rejecting that because that is the norm. She wants to break that norm and do her own thing. You know, let's not worry about the evil that is spreading. Let's worry about how you acknowledge me as a person and the way you speak to me. That is what Tosh is thinking in her little noggin. <laughs> I will go. Thank you for inviting me to your home. <laughs> and there is your character just sitting and looking and saying to himself, what the hell just happened between these two people? It is absolutely insane to me that somebody, some developer or upper management over at Bioware decided that this would be a good option when it comes to a cut scene. It almost seems as if they're trying to implement some of the things that they've gone through in their own lives. And which is why I continue to say that this new Bioware isn't the same as the old Bioware. A lot of the developers and leadership from the original Bioware have already left ship and gone somewhere else and have been replaced with these new DEI people that want to spread this kind of stuff. And I don't have any hope when it comes to the new Mass Effect game that is being developed by Bioware and going to be released eventually. I don't think that is going to pan out well even for this company because of what we're seeing here with Dragon Age The Veil Guard. And with all that in mind, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.